Let's start with a look through our Valley Cam Network powered by Master Storage 365. A time lapse of a beautiful day today outside. We're looking at a pretty clear difference between the weather arriving tonight right now and what we saw through the middle of the day today. The winds are gusting through the valley. We're looking at those wind gusts that are strong through the area today. In fact, we did see 31 mile per hour wind gusts in Fresno, 44 in Los Banos. It's very windy over Chaco Pass and on the west side of the valley and Madera, 25 mile per hour wind gusts so far and in Hanford, 24 up at Huntington Lake, 23. But it's still taking a little bit of time for some of those winds to reach the eastern side of the state. We're looking at the windy conditions first through the Bay Area and the west side of the valley. And now some light sprinkles arriving just to the north of Fresno as well. Some light snow showers in the mountains. We will see some of those snow showers continue to build up to a half a foot of snow or more above 6,000 feet through the night tonight and through the day tomorrow. We will see several inches of snow basically to the north of the 180 in the 5000 foot range and snow all the way down to some 3000 feet going through the night tonight. That's when the bulk of the, that snowfall will fall. It's not a huge snowmaker, but we will see a small blanket of snow in places, especially to the north of the 180 through the Sierra uh, through the overnight tonight. It's the days ahead that we look at more clear conditions and later chances for more rain coming. Guess what? Next weekend, your solar forecast from renewable solar showing that, of course, electricity generation is dropping with this next storm system coming through today's high 77 degrees, more than 10 degrees above the average of 65 degrees and temperatures tonight will be cooler. We will see a cooler day, of course, tomorrow with this windy and cold weather coming in uh, through the overnight tonight and tomorrow 58 for a high temperature. So we will be on the other side of average temperatures begin to recover here in your extended forecast. You do see cool, windy conditions and even a slight chance there are possible showers in the valley for tomorrow, possible thunderstorms. The likeliness just isn't very strong, but a few communities might see some rain through the valley. We are watching temperatures rise after this system passes day by day through the middle of the week until we get to 80 degrees next Thursday. That's when the next system arrives, dropping temperatures and bringing our next chances for wet weather. You can get a check of it anytime on our website, yourcentralvalley.com.